Good evening. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us tonight. The desperate search for a beautiful three-year-old Florida girl, Kelly. Tragically, we are confident that this child is dead. In some of their strongest language yet, a spokesman for the lead agency in the search for Kaylee Anthony says any hopes of finding her alive are false hopes. A search for a live child is over. It's over. It's over. Uh, you know, we did everything we could. Uh, you know, a lot of man hours, a lot of resources. The grand jury has concluded that little Kaylee is deceased and their daughter has been indicted and her death. Her grandfather, George Anthony, said law enforcement has given up. Are you still confident reaching out to people, asking for donations, given the fact that some in law enforcement are saying that aspect of the search in our eyes is over? Well, it's unfortunate that law enforcement, the authorities have given up. That's a shame. It really is. Until I know 100% where Kaylee's at, I am not going to give up. So forget about any evidence that has been... There's no concrete evidence of anything. There's only circumstantial evidence. So show me proof. Show me proof. Straight out to Mark Williams of WNDB. Am I to understand that the local authorities are now no longer pursuing sightings of Kelly? Yes, that's right, Nancy. The biggest thing is, of course, Carlos Padilla from the Orange County Sheriff's Office saying that they have given up all hope of finding little Kaylee Marie Anthony alive whatsoever. They base that, of course, on what the FBI has come up with their evidence. And, of course, the grand jury indictment handed up just a couple of months ago, two months ago. Also, uh, spokesman Carlos Padilla says there's really, they've got to move on with, with their life. They, they have a record murder rate here in Orange County. They've got some unsolved cases to take care of. They have other fish to fry. So they They've kind of given up uh, any any chance of finding Kaylee Marie alive. Also, another bombshell dropped today. Attorney Mark Nijame, the personal attorney for Cindy and George Anthony, says he's out of here. He's given it up. So uh, he's no longer representing them, and a news conference scheduled for tomorrow has been called off. Take a listen to what Nijame had to say. If somebody wants to write to somebody or talk to somebody or appear somewhere or to challenge somebody. They all might be valid points, but they need to go through your advisor. What's the sense of having an advisor if you're not going to follow your advisor's advice? And so I've got to respect that. And so somebody needs to get a new advisor or they need to handle their own matter. If I'm providing service as an advisor, then it does little good if my advice is not followed. I think any client who's got a case should not be doing interviews. Let's unleash the lawyers. Everybody, we're taking your calls live in addition to local authorities calling off the search for a live Kelly. That does not mean that volunteers, that EquiSearch, that the psychics, that Padilla have gone home. They are still there searching. But local Orange County sheriffs say they are no longer looking for a live Kelly. This is the press conferences called off by the grandparents in which they were to announce blockbuster evidence that little Kelly is still alive. Their lawyer walks off the job. Let's unleash the lawyers, Eleanor Dixon, prosecutor out of Atlanta, Peter Odom, defense attorney out of Atlanta, and Richard Herman, high-profile lawyer out of New York. What about it, Richard? What, Nancy, what can I tell you here? Just because Padilla says they call it off? I don't know. It's devastating to the defense. What, what did you just say? That doesn't even make sense. They said he was a spokesperson for the police department? Padilla? No. How is he a spokesperson? No, 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 no. A. That's not what I asked you. And B, Padilla is not a spokesperson Please. for the police department. Okay, so let's go to someone that can hear and interpret the question. <laughs> Eleanor? Well, I think uh, the attorney left because obviously uh, Georgia City weren't following the advice that he was giving them. And maybe he didn't want to be involved in this press conference because clearly they were going against something he told them. However, remember, Nancy, whatever they've told him is attorney-client privilege, and he cannot reveal that. Uh, I, I think the confusion, Richard, you're talking about Leonard Padilla. There is a Padilla that is a spokesperson for the sheriffs, Carlos Padilla. 
All right, it's not Leonard Padilla, but again, Thank that was you. not the original question. Peter Odom, the attorney, walks off the job with the grandparents. He will not reveal any confidences, of course, but he does say when he signed on, he was told he could look for Kelly without restriction, even if the outcome was a bad one. Apparently, that's not what the grandparents want. Right. right. And Nancy, remember, he's a private attorney. He took on the job of representing them under conditions. They apparently, according to what Nee James said, he, they violated those conditions by going against his advice. And he has every right to walk off, particularly if his clients are being frustrating. There's nothing to force him to stay. Out to the lines, Melissa in Indiana. Hi, Melissa. Hi, how are you? I'm good, dear. What's your question? Well, I'm just wondering why um, they're, they're searching in that one area. And here they got pings from her cell phone from all different places, why couldn't she have disposed of her in a dumpster or something like that? You know what? I couldn't hear your question. Could you repeat the end of the question? Pardon me? Could you repeat the end of the question? I'm wondering if she could have put her in a dumpster instead of where they're searching, uh, where they have been searching. And what about it, Mark Williams? There's been a lot of speculation that she was, in fact, placed in a dumpster. There was a dumpster uh, close to the uh, Amscot location where they found her car uh, a couple of months ago. But thus far, nothing has been coming out of that dumpster and that uh, garbage has been dumped in the landfill. It's a constant battle between the Anthony's and investigators all hoping to find little Kaylee. I'm just going to be putting a call into my attorney, um, so I kind of need to know where we need to go from here. This is how Cindy and George Anthony spend most of their days, constantly on the phone, checking into tips that their granddaughter Kaylee may still be alive. 